Uh, Linda Galbo um, saw John Arias in the neighborhood. Uh, she panicked because she knew he was dangerous. She immediately drove home. Linda pulled into the garage and realized that he was there, but before she could even get out of her car, he approached her in the garage and he was holding a weapon. She blew the horn on her own car and her mother came to the garage and had actually been told by her little brother, Johnny, that a man was in the garage with Linda. What no one realized was Johnny Jr. walked past the garage and saw what was going on and he went in the house and told his mother. Uh, he then um, chased the two women into the house and uh, Mrs. Galbo grabbed a broomstick to defend her daughter. Uh, Mrs. Galbo continued to hit him with the stick and Linda was trying to jump on him. And then uh, he, he got a bloody nose. He told me that he grabbed a towel and wiped his nose and he said, and then things just got out of control. And that's his quote. He said, that's when the shootings took place, that he shot Mrs. Galbo, and then he shot Linda. Well, after she was shot five times with a 45 caliber assault weapon, he put her in the trunk of her car and thought that he locked that trunk. But apparently the mechanism was defective. Somehow she got out. Uh, she then uh, opened the garage door and crawled out into the uh, waiting arms of the Edison Police Department. We had 25 members from the emergency response team respond. Uh, but there were many support individuals that were uh, police officers, there were other support individuals uh, from EMS and the fire department. Uh, we also had other agencies that were assisting us, uh, for example the state police. 